Welcome back again. Um, my name's Rick Keller, and uh, a couple weeks ago we were showing stuff from the cleaning um, operation we had, getting ready for the OSTN Toy Soldier Show in Chicago. And today we're going to show some play sets, uh, things in the boxes, and some really nice toys. And uh, just get as we're getting them ready for for the show. It's in a couple of weeks now, and. Uh, Right here, we got a wagon train. Now it's not complete, but kind of working on. Don't know whether to sell it as a set or split it up. I might split it up, but uh, as you can see, we got Indians, Pioneers, the Rock Formation. Everything is in here, and I do have wagons over here. I could. There should be four wagons in this set and an ox wagon, but. Um, I don't have an ox wagon, so I think I'm just going to split this set up. As you can see, we got we'll have a lot of wagons for sale, and these are the two character figures: Ward Bond and Flint McCullough. And then there's a, about three or four wagons that would actually go on this set. Um, some of the this is the first style. It was a conversion wagon from their um, oh about 1959, I think, is when it came out, and it was like the buckboard turned into, and you got like a three-piece set that would make them look like covered wagons. Till so eventually, they went over to the 54 millimeter wagon, and there's a series 2000 that. And then a series 5000, which is a big box, and, and it's really desirable. But this is just kind of a loose set, not really too nice. The figures are real nice. It does have cream Indians, but um, got a couple of breaks on some. There's probably maybe 13 good Indians in here. And then there's four nice whip drivers. And then, as I said, the rock formation. I know you get a look at the box here. It's got some tape on the inside. Probably about a C7. It's got, the color still looks good on it. It's just um, a little bit on the wear side. And these are the wagons are over here. If you can pan through and look at them. Some nice cream whip drivers on there and one blue whip driver from the Custer set. And a stagecoach and a Civil War ambulance wagon. And right here is a set of Long Coat Calvary and a real nice powder blue. And then these figures right below it are, were never released in this color. It's um, kind of like a powdered blue 7th Calvary. I happened to acquire them a couple months ago. Our next set will be uh, the Rifleman, which is one of my favorites. It's kind of a, I love the box, box art on there with Lucas and Mark. This box here is really nice, nice and square. I would say about a C8 on it. Comes with two buildings, a downsized cabin with uh, gray plastic. The gun smoke would be with brown, so it's kind of the same building. And then the regular log cabin, the downsized log cabin was used in Fort Apache because they used a lot of the same things in every set. Then you got this little gun here. It's like a little promo of the rifleman. And this really doesn't match the set very well. That's probably the only thing there that was probably added on in this set. 
You get cowboys. Whoops. The rifleman front gate. The fence. You get some cowboys. Steers, horses, outside furniture. And a, a blue buckboard. And a couple extra accessories. It's a real nice set and the rifle is seen on ABC TV. It's a wonderful set and it'll be up for sale up in Chicago and it'll be the way it looks right here. Okay, the next place that we have is the Jungle Play Set. Series 500. It's kind of like in a generic box. I think from when, after the Jungle Gym set came out. I think these probably came afterwards. This set here is beautiful. It's got a nice box. Original instructions. Looks like the tabs have been bent once on the building. So it's been probably assembled. does have the original bags. I'll dump a few out here just so you can get an idea. The natives. Really nice color. Medicine man. We all need a medicine man. The hunters would be A typical cream. Let's see. Really nice shape. All the animals still in the original bags. The accessories, native accessories. They've been taken off the sprue, but the sprue's in the bag, but Looks like that color. We've got a broken gun on that one though. Really nice set. The animals, everything in here. Put this back and we'll show you some more things here. Okay, now we're gonna I'm gonna show you some character figures that I'll, that I'll have up there. As you can see, we have the Ben-Hur figures in the purple. A set of three, Emperor and Empress and Ben-Hur. Then I have the Ben-Hur and the Cream, which is a lot harder to find. I think it was probably out the first year they made Ben-Hur and the Emperor. I have some Zorro character figures. Then have Untouchables, Elliot Ness, and Al Capone. Sky King, the serial premium. Roy and Dale, a gray Wyatt Earp. Got a few of those. And over here I have the Ren 10 10 figures. Rusty with the gun, it's missing a lot of time. And here's a hard figure to get, it's Annie Oakley. This one's in gray. I'm gonna have the Rifleman character figures. And Johnny Tremaine. And then a, a ranch kid from Roy Rogers. And I'll have a few of these. Um, Gallant Men from one of the Mars Army sets. A pea green whip driver from the Apache Pass. Robin Hood, Little John. So I have a, a few character figures I'll have up there. I even have more than this. And it's just kind of a sample of what, what we'll have up there. I just remember to go to the show and you can do go to the room trading will be on the Wednesday before the show and 
and the show is on Sunday. So I'll show you some st more stuff here in a minute as I get it out. Welcome back again. I brought up this is going to be it right here that I'm going to show you today, and it's before the show. So this is going to be it. I like to bring a lot of other different toys so that you know other people can you know got different tastes. It's not soldiers, and I got a lot of nice mark stuff with a mint on the card M1 rifle platoon. It's really nice. And then this is like a knockoff from the rifleman. Quick action spin repeater with rifleman on the card. And then I got some, a lot of tin I'm going to have up there. This is just a couple of pieces that I brought out. Get kind of a sample of what, what it's like. I have a lot more than what you're looking at too. This is just kind of a sample. And I always like to break a couple of train sets and this is a real nice mark set with a cool box. Has the packing slip. Got the tin semi on the flat car. Got three action cars in there. It's a real nice set. I have a few Johnny West pieces. Right now I just have General Custer in the box. Can't have enough Johnny West, you know. And Geronimo. I have a few more pieces up there. But they're nice and clean. The boxes are nice. And then, uh, Show you a Desert Fox set. Made in probably 1972, I think, but a lot of plastic bags in here, but that's it's complete. It has a play mat, play mat and instructions, nice clean vehicles. There's your big tank. The 51 tank. Plenty of figures, motorcycles. A nice set. And I also like to bring, bring up some pan. Here I have a little Abner dog patch pan made by Unique Art. Now I'm not going to assemble it for you, but trust me, it's all there. And we have the Milton Burrow 10 wind up Jeep. 10. And here we have Pinocchio from 1939. Still works. Little guy here, Tony the Tiger riding a little scooter. And for you Harley fans, there's a nice motorcycle, tin wind up. And then a jumping Jeep. Hold up to me. So I hope you enjoyed all this stuff and uh, I've had a good time showing you and uh, just make sure you come up at the Hyatt Regency and I'll be there on Wednesday through Sunday. Rick Keller, signing off.